Hey everybody, it's John, Lake Erie Chestnuts. We have a good weather day here with just a little bit of a drizzle, but I thought I'd show you the chestnuts that we started last spring outdoors. We started them uh, outdoors inside the, the carpenter cloth and show you how those are doing today. If you look, they're holding their leaves. These are one year old. These are completely protected. And those are Dunstan chestnuts. And over here are sawtooth oaks. Both of these will be available for sale as bare root seedlings. Those trees are what I sell locally. I, I just don't have enough that I ship really. I, I have enough demand that I'm not able to sell those uh, by mail. Here we have Ching uh, seedlings. These grew taller than the Dunstan. Now part of that is because the soil is deeper in this box. So they had a little more room for their, their roots to grow. But hard to see them all, the individual seedlings. Try to get up. There's a ton of seedlings in there. They all are about pencil sized. Uh, really nice tall ones, some, I don't know, some three foot tall ones. And right next to them, some English white oaks, all still holding their seeds or their leaves. Even a little greenish looking here in late December. And those will all be bare root. And here are two year old trees and these are going to be amazing. I'm going to, most of these are going in my orchard as replacements. This tree is, let's just reverse, I'll try to reverse the camera here. Eight foot tall, seven and a half foot tall, very tall, beautiful. Hopefully these trees will transplant okay. I mean, they are, they are healthy. They are in pretty deep soil, about 10 inches of soil. And hopefully they will do well with the transplant because as I've talked about before, trees do better if they are transplanted smaller. So we're gonna to try to bare root those. We'll see how it all works out. Now let's take you in. We'll explore some of our seeds and see how those are doing. We, uh, I think this will be the last year I purchase seeds from somewhere else unless I want a particular type uh, because I have a good number of them now coming from my orchard and I'm not sure that I'll get better quality from elsewhere unless I'm looking for specific genetics. So we'll go downstairs and take a look at those. So using the Check these chestnuts out. So the first thing I notice is we got a good temperature, at least it's not frozen. We can see the soil isn't frozen. I usually start seeing roots start sprouting about right now. And I just check the top few. I don't check a bunch unless I see a bunch of mold. So here's a nut. Nothing sprouting yet. See that? See if they, we can get that to focus on us. No root radical popping out yet. Put him back to bed. We're mainly checking for mold today. No root radical. So nothing sprouting, but no mold. Looks very good. Just uncovering the top layer. There's just a little bit of moisture, just like I like it. Nothing sprouting. But just a little moisture, but if I squeeze it, no water is coming out. But it kind of forms, you see that? Kind of formed up can move it around, crumbles a little, 
good peat moss. We'll cover it all up, keep those babies going to sleep. This says, let's see what these are. It's got a good record of all the different times I've planted using this container. I clean it with bleach each time. This says, on October 21st, 2022, this was planted with Lake Erie chestnut seed. I hear that's a pretty good place. Young, up and coming. Moisture on the, on the lid, not frozen. These are some that were planted just in bags so I know the exact tree in dirt. And they're doing okay. Now this tree got some issues. Can you see that? Mold. Four of the nuts are moldy. A couple are not. This this tree, these seeds may not may not last. Maybe the wrong way for these seeds. Maybe they were put away a little late. Uh, but they're not going to, these are not going to do well. I'm actually going to take them out and let them sit on their own rather than inside the container. If you find mold and it's just one seed, you can pop it out. If, if it's a small thing of seeds like that, it's not even worth your time. But if you found a seed that you really, really wanted, you could maybe try to treat it with a little bit of bleach and try to clean it up but really once you've seen mold that seed is probably toast these seeds all look nice moist firm and look like they're doing okay this seed does have a little mold can you see that hard to see just a little bit of white on it. We'll get rid of that dirt that has the mold in it. We'll throw that away. You're always going to have a little bit, just a little bit of mold. But again, I'm not sure it's a good idea to have the plastic laying on top of them. So I'm going to take those out. And I'll make those sit in the fridge. I'll have these sit in the fridge on their own. Back into the fridge. This is English white oak seeds. If you look carefully here, I don't know if the glare is going to let you see it. Right here. Ah! The zip let go on me. Got a little bit of a mess on the floor. A little bit of a mess. But a chance to show you that the English white oaks sprout a little quicker. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get it to focus. You see this root radicals popping out. But they can sit there for a long time at that level. Well, that'll be the update for this week. Chestnut and oak seeds look good in the fridge. One-year-old chestnuts and oaks look good out in their little nursery beds. Hopefully everything's going well with you guys. This is John with Lake Erie Chestnuts. Remember, if you're not growing, you're dying. We'll see you on the next one.